What's going on everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Today is uh, the second trip, uh, round trip that is, at the Goodwill Bins. Came here earlier. I filmed with Kristen from A Rose Squirrel, um, Ray uh, Nabiar from Good Game Grabs, and uh, Dana from Glamour's Closet popped up for a bit too. So, uh, if you guys haven't watched that video yet, make sure you go over there and check it out. So now we're back here at the bins. Uh, they open back up in 15 minutes. We're going to go back in here, guys, and see what else we can find. Because you guys know I got a 30-day listing go. And earlier on my trip, I only got 49 items. So that's not going to cut it. Got to get in here and get to the money, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, check this out. This is a vintage 1987 guest shirt. Look at the tag. Made in USA. Uh single stitch it's stained but it's still pretty cool guys we're gonna go ahead and grab that one and then right here by it as well is another it's like a crop top just like the last shirt virginia beach authentic um made in the usa tag as well xl single stitch i don't think this one's gonna be as easy to get rid of because it's faded but still two vintage shirts back to back in the bins let's go Got some uh, Dickies scrub pants. Should be decent, probably about 10, 15 bucks. Maybe less, but we'll grab them and look them up, see if it's worth getting. All right, guys, we got us a full card here. We're gonna start out with this um, KFC. We're gonna start it off with this KFC shirt, man. We're gonna look this thing up, see what uh, type of comps we can get on this. All right, guys, so we got two of these sold. Uh, both $13 plus shipping. This one, they probably had it listed for a while, $17 with 18% uh, off. But if we price it for 13 bucks, that means we can sell this for 13 bucks. And uh, should sell fairly quick. It's made by Barco. It's made by the same people. They make like the scrubs and other uniforms. So we're gonna grab that one. All right guys, teaching moment here. I feel like this is a, a great way for me to show you guys just be looking at what you're doing right so i grabbed these camo jeans and they're so camoed out that i didn't even realize the belt buckle was broken which isn't a biggie like i can get that sewed up but the next issue is they're hemmed right and i can i mean that's also not a big issue i can cut the seams out and uh get that unhemmed but let me show you guys what they're going for so they're selling for $17, $20, $15, $10, all the way down to five on one bid. Uh, $23, $12.99, $29, $15.99. Nine. So not a bad price, but I don't feel like taking the time to number one, sew that up. Number two, take out the stitches on that. So good teaching moment because I was going to go ahead and grab them and then I realized that this was flawed and then I noticed that that was flawed so look just just a teaching moment guys all right guys so we got this proud Walmart associate vest um I sold seven vintage um actually I'm sorry so earlier I sold let me just show you guys this because I don't think anyone will believe me unless I actually show them so we have one two three four five vintage walmart employee shirts sold for 76 dollars and 54 cents so of course when i see this walmart associate vest so of course when i see this walmart associate vest the instant reaction is to grab it and look it up so let me go back to the solds show you guys what this is selling for and why uh, i'm picking it up okay so 35 dollars for this exact one 20 bucks 20 bucks these are all different kinds that's 20 bucks um 22 five dollars on the bid 24 so yeah guys we're gonna grab this i'm gonna list it a little higher uh because if it doesn't sell i'll just put it on sell and uh we probably got us a 30 35 all the way down to maybe 20 dollar bill here so let's go got some uh vintage american eagle jeans they're destroyed with paint on them uh paint's there paint's there uh that's not gonna stop me from selling them because they're selling for 20 bucks 15 bucks on bids 960 1650 25 let's see if i can find another one that's super d destroyed like these are uh 11 bucks 
so those are 18 bucks so yeah guys maybe uh 15 to 20 bucks here so yeah we're gonna grab those all right guys we got us some basic columbia canvas shorts these are a 34 hold on 34 by 11 uh just basic like i said uh columbia shorts and the comps are all over the place 16.99 that's cargo that's not them 20 bucks uh 16.80 13 13 20 and then these are all on bids so yeah we're gonna get these 20 18 to 20 bucks right here guys Okay guys, so in light of uh, employee fashion, we're gonna keep it going with the Walgreens employee shirt. This one sold for $35. Uh, that's an extra large. This one is not. Um, $16, 15 best offer accepted, 15 best offer, 10 best offer, uh, 20 bucks, 15, 10, 10, uh yeah another 14. so guys we're gonna grab this one as well see if we can list it for about 20 25 dollars and then accept the lower offer if someone sends one hopefully they'll just buy it outright and we got us a great sale here all right guys we have us uh, some levi's 569 white shorts uh these are selling for 29.99 720 on a bid 9.99 998 $7.98 on all of these are on bids $34.33 on bids $14 bucks not on bids $10 and $13.96 $16.96 $28.18.88 that seems more reasonable $24 uh, these are all paint splattered and damaged up they sold for $12.99 best offer so we are going to list these at uh let's say just a reasonable 25 dollars uh give them a good oxyclean bath make sure the spick and span for the buyer and uh see what happens with them guys all right guys so this is kc95 it's a classic rock radio station in st louis this is the winter blood drive shirt uh no exact um listings of this kind but there are KC95 shirts selling for 25 bucks, 16 bucks on two bids, 20 bucks, and 50 dollars. So, uh, people love this stuff, man, for real. If, especially if you're a St. Louis native or if you live in the surrounding areas and you listen to this radio station, because everybody that loves classic rock is like a lifer. You know what I mean? So, I'm fairly confident that I could sell this shirt for 20 bucks or so. All right, guys, we got a Metallica World Wired uh, t-shirt. It does have uh, a bleach spot right there, but it's selling for $18.98. Uh, let's see, $29.99. Where else? Where else is another one? These are all different variations of it. This one sold for $12.97, $24.95, $19.99. So uh, we're gonna grab this one, even though it does have the bleach spot. We're gonna grab it, we're gonna list it, and hopefully try to get us, uh, you know, closer to $20. It does have two holes, but you know, the type of shirt that it is, I don't think it's gonna stop it from selling. So we're gonna grab that. All right, guys, we got us an Eddie Bauer Goose Down Vest. It's a women's extra small. They are selling for $28.50. 30 bucks uh let's see if we can find another white one 20 dollars uh nine dollars so we're getting out to the low ones now but yeah man uh 28 30 bucks so maybe 25 dollars at the lowest so we're gonna grab this get a little find right there all right guys we got some wrangler performance series jeans just basic uh blue jeans but so through it's pretty good on them 100 percent uh out of 58 listed 59 have sold there's a lot of three but that doesn't count so we're gonna just hop to the blue that matches uh 23.99 another pair for 23.99 24.99 14.39 21 21 15 bucks 20 bucks 18 20 so we're gonna get these listing for 22 dollars and see what happens guys so I found this BCBG jacket. Not, you know, the most popular of brands anymore, but there's uh, one that sold for $13, one that sold for 
one that sold for 24 in a different color. That's more blinged out. Uh, 896 and yeah. So probably not going to get that just because it's not going for very much and it's not selling very often. Out of a hundred something listed, there's only uh, 50. I don't even think it was that high that sold. So we're going to go ahead and put that back. So we got us a Salt Life brand shirt. The back looks pretty cool. Salt Life shirt, live salty. Um, $24, $19, $19, $17, $20, None of these are actually this exact shirt. I just use the cool factor. If this shirt is as equally cool or less cool, then I'll price it higher or lower than the top sell. So this right here should probably just go for about 18 bucks. Pretty cool with the American flag outline, but uh, not too cool to where I feel like it should net more than 20. So we're gonna grab that and try to get us about 18 bucks out of it. Got us a uh, standard 569 loose straight uh, Levi's. They are distressed with a knee hole, so that gives them more character. I'll list these for about $25. I usually get uh, close to that on these. Most of the time I do get offers though, so uh, if someone sends me an acceptable offer, I'll take it, but I'm gonna list these for 25 bucks. All right guys, so we got this full tilt poker jacket. I believe this was a show or something at one point in time. I'm honestly just not into poker, so I can't really remember honestly, but we got full tilt poker merch all over the place. This bomber or this uh, varsity jacket sold for 70 best offer. Someone sold a hat for 15 bucks. We got us a World Series of Poker. That's what that show was. Okay, so I don't really know what full tilt poker was, but this thing sold for 20 bucks. Uh, let's see, bowling shirts for 29 bucks. I can't find any exact model of this stuff. But, you know, why not buy it, right? It's like not even a pound. So I don't know how much it's going to weigh, but that's ridiculously light, man. So we're going to grab that list and try to get us between 20 to 25 bucks for that guys. Okay, guys, we got us an old Miss Hotty Toddy shirt. This is a crop cutoff shirt. Not sure if that's how it came, but I'm pretty sure someone did that on their own. But didn't even know this was a thing because I don't watch sports. But we got us a $29.99 one. Uh, then we have a... All the rest of these are t-shirts. I feel like, guys, that I can list this for about 20 bucks and turn on best offer. and see if I can get somebody to buy that. Not sure if that's staining or shadows. I think it is staining. Yeah, never mind. There's stains all over it. So we're going to not get that. See those stains, guys? So never mind. All right, guys, so for this vintage Virginia Beach shirt, there is no comps for the exact shirt, but this one is uh, $28, and this one is $15.99. Uh, that's the only ones that I'm actually finding that are Virginia Beach shirts. This one is a uh, Bermuda Beach, kind of same uh, type of shirt. Uh, but yeah, guys, so I feel like we'll list this for, since it's so faded, we'll probably only ask like 15 bucks for it and try to get us an offer on it. Guys, I don't normally pick up Lee, but these are new with the tags on them. So uh, I scanned them and they're selling as, there's only four listed, but one sold on the 12th of this month for $29.89 free ship. So I feel like I can grab these and sell them for 20 bucks plus shipping and uh, shouldn't have a hard time getting rid of them since one just sold, what, uh, not even a week ago. So yeah, we're gonna get those guys. All right, guys, we got us a Columbia Mizzou jacket. It is reversible. So, uh, you know, it's got the Columbia. It's got Columbia on both sides. Oh, there's none with the white toe, but there's black and yellow listed at 29 and 35, which I feel is a bit on the high side. So if we list this at 20 bucks, we should have no problem getting rid of it. Uh, the neckline is a bit yellow. But I got tons of stuff that needs to soak, so we'll give that an ice clean cleaning and uh, see if we can get rid of that and get us a sale out of this, guys. All right, guys, we have us a U.S. soccer jersey. It's a Nike jersey, number 11. 
Adu, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it. I can't find any exact ones like that at the moment, but we are running out of time. We close in four minutes. So uh, let's see here, guys. We got us a $99 one. That's the number 11. Um, let's see here. Let's see another number 11 immediately. Here's another uh, 11. Is $199. Adu football. Freddie Adu. ADU. So this is looking like a potential great buy. Uh, like I said, I'm not seeing, uh, there's another one, $39.95, but that's white. This is $250. Uh, this might turn out to be a really sick buy, you know what I mean? But like I said, I can't find any exact comps on it to get my hopes up at the moment. So we're gonna grab this and uh, maybe call this the buy of the day. We'll see later. So I got a bunch of these Johnson and Murphy shirts. Not a lot of money, guys. Um, I, I could this one, $29.99, $10.99, $19.95, $20. Um, I've never sold them for $16, so I'll probably grab a couple of them, list them, and see how long they take to sell, and if they actually sell for good money. Because I got one, two, three, four of them. So yeah, we're gonna get all four of those, test the waters on them. All right guys, we're out of time. They're closing, they're telling everybody to get to the register and check out. So I got like 30 something items here. We'll, I think I got 37 items. We're gonna go ahead and pay. I'll give you guys a financial breakdown back at the car, so stay tuned. All right guys, here we are outside at the car with a total of 37 items. We spent $42, it's super windy out here guys. We spent $42.93, which gives us a final buy cost of $1.16 per item, which is not bad guys, really good price, honestly. Hopefully this Nike jersey will pay for everything. Uh, like I said, man, I, I've never heard of this stuff, but the comps are looking really good on it. So you guys let me know in the comment section, man. Did I like find a grill here with this thing or is it just some basic jersey, man? But either way it goes, I'm fairly confident that th this thing will pay for everything and the rest will be all profit. And you know, that's the way I rock, guys. That's my motto. That's how I like to shop at the Good Move Vans, man. That's going to do it for this one, guys. I got to get out this win, man. Catch you guys on the next one. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.